Hello everyone, welcome to Java tutorial. So today we are going to cover one one of the important topic of the Java is which is OOPS concept. OOPS object oriented programming systems. Java OOPS concept. In Java OOPS concept, object means a real world entity such as pen, chair, table, etc. In object oriented programming we have this concept of object and a class this ob object oriented programming is a methodology or paradigm to design a program using classes and objects so with the help of this classes and objects we perform many operations on as per our requirement so this oops concept cover various topic which is object class inheritance polymorphism abstraction encapsulations so with the with the help of this oops concept it is really easy to develop any application and to maintain any applications because you can directly relate the physical object with our code so in this oops concept we have objects so objects and class so what are class so class are the entity which have some fields and methods or we can say that class is the entity which have some properties and features and carbon copies of this class is known as objects so objects are the carbon copies of the class so everything around us is, is an object so object can be a pen pen can be can be the class so what can be the properties of this pen and can it has color height weight and what are the features which it can it can write it can roll so these are the features so all the properties we define in the fields of the class and all the features we define in the methods of the class and after that all the carbon copies of this uh, class is known as objects then we have concept of inheritance inheritance is as we know that inheriting the properties of our parents so we have this parent class and if we want to use to reuse these those properties of the parent class we can extend our subclass with the parent parent class and we can access all the properties of the parent parent class so and another thing is polymorphism polymorphism as we know that uh, poly means many morph means form so we can have many form that we have same name but different type of type of work we have concept of over overloading and overriding in polymorphism so we will cover this topic in details then we have abstraction abstraction means hiding the inner details so here in java we have concept of abstract class and interfaces so with the help of this abstract class interfaces and access modifier we can hide the inner details of the class and after that we have encapsulations encapsulation is binding the properties and method in a single entity which is known as class inside the class we bind the properties and features or we bind the fields and the methods in a single entity so that concept is known as encapsulation what are the advantages of the oops of a procedural programming language in case of processor programming language which is also known as modular programming we divide the code in form of modules same thing we can do in oops as well but in oops we have object oriented programming so this oops is easier to man maintain and in case of processor program oriented programming it's difficult to maintain uh, in oops we have concept of data hiding with the help of this access modifiers but in uh, modular program we do not have that this oops is ability to simulate real world events such much more effectively but in case of procedural we cannot relate that we can provide solution of real world problem if we are using object oriented program but in case of uh, modular programming we cannot do that so we have other many advanced features in case in oops which, which are not available in the procedural 
oriented programming so these are the concept 